Now we go. We do have a little bit of a deficit uh, since September 1st. This is uh, meteorological fall here. Well, two and a quarter inch shy at Bradley and about three inches shy in Bridgeport. That's pretty substantial. So we do need a little liquid around here and we're going to get some Wednesday night into Thursday morning, like Wednesday late afternoon through Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. But pretty much not before that. Our Channel 3 early warning radar scanning the state dry. The temperatures out there fairly comfortable. I mean, you need a jacket. Don't get me wrong, but 41 is the typical overnight low. And October 14th is the average annual first day of frost. So typically we get a frost by this time and there's no frost in our seven day forecast with the exception of the coldest sections of northwest and northeast Connecticut. Like in Colebrook this morning, we've got a temperature of 32 with some frost out there on the cars and on the windshields. 46 right now in New Britain, 54 in Milford. As we take a look at the, uh, the uh, headlines, partly cloudy to start. I know you're looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies to start, but we are expecting mostly sunny skies. It'll go from partly sunny to mostly sunny as the day wears on. And then tomorrow Tomorrow looks like another great day, but it's going to be a wet Wednesday, especially Wednesday for the evening rush, Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. All right, the temperatures across the board, you can see they're a little bit cool up in northern Connecticut, but still above normal. 41 typical overnight low, 41, 15 degrees above average in Bridgeport, 16 degrees above average in New Haven. So again, these are some pretty good looking numbers for this time of morning and this time of year, and the winds are calm. As we move you through the day ahead, notice the partly sunny icons go over to mostly sunny icons by this afternoon afternoon with temperatures topping close to 70 degrees. More of the same for the shoreline. Partly sunny icons going over to mostly sunny icons for the shoreline. Temperatures today will be topping out in the mid to upper 60s for the shoreline. All right, here comes the sun. Do 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 do. It's all right. It's all right now. Do 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 do. 648. Uh, we got partly to mostly cloudy skies for you, but a dramatic skyline in Old Saybrook. Beautiful in Old Waterbury with mostly overcast conditions and a little bit of sun trying to make its way through in Middletown as it's coming up at 7 702 this morning. There's the rain. It is substantial. It's pouring out over the Cape and the islands. Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket getting soaked this morning, but not for us here in Connecticut. We did get clipped in southeast Connecticut earlier this morning. So if you're waking up to a little bit of wet pavement, that is the reason why. But this is going to be making a departure as we move through the day today. So future cast tomorrow's weather today shows us an hour by hour depiction of improving conditions. Tomorrow looks like another good day. I'm going to pick it up Wednesday at seven in the morning. You'll notice increasing clouds by noon by one o'clock two o'clock it starts raining in parts of northwest and southwest Connecticut and then it pours Wednesday late afternoon Wednesday night and into early Thursday morning this is Wednesday at 11 you'll see the back edge of the system pushing through on Thursday morning daytime highs today climb into the mid to upper 60s to near 70 partly to mostly sunny and then your seven day forecast includes some uh, uh, a nice chilly night tonight with mostly clear skies. You will need the heat on in the house. And then your seven day forecast includes 63 tomorrow. Rain on Wednesday into early Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon looks good. Cool, windy, blustery. And then Friday, Ooh. Saturday, Sunday, the temperatures start moving up. It's going to be a, look right now. It's looking like a great weekend here in the state, which is just terrific because we could use it for the Keen Cove Carnival. Oh, excellent. Yay.